Uh oh. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Bang, bang, bang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, all that and all of that, man. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with the latest content. Shout out to Iconic Bears for the merch. If you got merch, you know what I'm saying, you want to get it to me, Vada underscore fly on IG. You should follow me on IG anyway. My shit be cool. But um, so they, I, I've been, I've been seeing the word. I've been hearing. The smack is calling the truce with all the leagues, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm saying, I'm saying, ain't no beef, you know what I mean? Let's do one work, 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 you know what I'm saying? We can all work, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So here's the deal, right? Everybody knows we're going to just win. We know who this is about. Uh, RBE, King of the Dot, Smack, URL. You know, it's been mad funny shit that's been going on, business-wise, you know what I'm saying? And if I stayed here and named... Every single instance where there's been some BS or something funny or niggas, you know what I'm saying, going back and forth, I'll be here for three hours. And we ain't about to do that, right? We can win in ten. So, um, <clears throat> minutes, that is. So, you've seen, most recently, we'll go with, uh, when they had the Genesis event, the same day in Atlanta that RBE had their event and pulled... Oh, I mean, pull JC. Oh, JC was supposed to battle Oops on Rare Breed Entertainment. URL swoops JC. RBE doesn't have a battle. These are two black businesses. They all are trying to do the same thing. It's 365 days in a year. Fuck it, we throw an event on your day, ruin your shit. Then there was the Summer Madness shit, um, where the niggas did the event in Vegas. They put an event together in no time. Just threw an event together to try to fuck up the Murder Mook versus Aver card. Y'all remember when Murder Mook was wilding on URL, like, y'all trying to take food out of my mouth, whoop de whoop de whoop the day he battled Verb, you know what I'm saying? Fucking, um, I'ma go noodles, like a college student. Y'all remember when Verb was wilding and shit? That was a good version of Verb too, by the way. But, um, URL threw an event on the same day, or around the same time in Vegas and shit, and all the niggas went out there and they was choking and stumbling all over the place. I don't even think there was a good battle off that card. Hitman even battled rock on that card and that wasn't even a good battle i think no good battles came out of that card not at all not none that we want to talk about um but because they put the shit together so quick just to stifle the next league like we're gonna put this event together real quick just to fuck with them and then the rbe event was better period that's just the way it goes but um a lot of people y'all seen people putting out cards of url versus rbe and if, if that could happen that could literally be a thing that could happen where RBE gets five or six of their best people and URL gets five and six of theirs and RBE has some talent now. It will been over there a lot. A Ward been over there a lot. Hitman been over there a lot. You know what I'm saying? I keep going. Rosenberg is reinventing himself over there. E Ness just had a fire battle with Mac Myron. Mac Myron be over there. Let's not act like they can't come up with five names. And this ain't gotta be no big stage shit. It could be a small room. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, you know, gotta keep Gwitty like a little back. You know what I'm saying? Not like right up on it. Like, I like some of his reactions, but when he's like doing like the, oh my God, yo, I just had KFC the other day. They got the new bit. Like, when he starts like having conversations mid battle, that should be a lot. But I do love what he does, and he's actually Gwitty's over there. He can battle one of the new niggas. RBE got people. You know what I'm saying? URL obviously has a full roster from top to bottom. And then, you know, I don't know really who's. Really, really rep representing King of the Dot right now. And I don't know where Bill Collect is at with his. I know Bill Collect, I just seen him going back and forth with JC yesterday about tournament runs. Um, what my thought on it is, Bill Collect's tournament was longer than the last five minutes of, of work. That shit was like months and months and months. JC's was more bam, 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 bam. JC was battling like name, 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 name. Bill Collector was battling some names. The Mac Myron was crazy and a couple of others the past. But it, just, just to be honest, a talent like a pass or like some of the cats that Bill Collector was battling in his tournament would not scratch the surface in a URL tournament. Let's just keep it all the way tall. So back to the topic, right? So, you know, Smack is like, oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Trots, true squad. It's cool to say these things. It's good for business, but does the action that comes after that actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, does it match up? And I don't know that because, you know, you all got niggas on contracts and it's like, I've seen numerous MCs, heard from numerous MCs. Let's just do it like this. Big name artist was going to battle on RBE and it was versus Pat Stay, right? Pretty big name in all leagues was going to battle this artist that be on URL. 
the call gets made, like, yo, no, it's not happening. You can't battle over there. If you battle over there, don't come back over here with the, with the woo. Deposits had to get sent back. Calls is being made and all this other shit. And the way I look at it, right, as far as, like, I get it as far as the business of Battle Rack, but this shit ain't like the NBA. It ain't like playing for the Lakers one week then playing for the Pacers the next week. All of these people are contracted, like, the people who rap. They're getting paid for a service. So they're going to go somewhere, do the job, and they can come right back. Like, it ain't like if a nigga like Geechee or fucking Easy or one of them goes and battles Hitman on RBE, that's going to ruin the algorithm for your business. If you're doing what you're doing and your business is booming, why does it matter? That's the, I've never been able to grasp that concept. And I've even heard it, like, even down with, like, media and shit. They don't be wanting media to cover certain battles and certain events and shit like that. And I could never really subscribe to that because I'm like, talking about all leagues, if Hitman battles cast, talking about that battle alone is hundreds of dollars in recap. You know what I'm saying? You could easily, there's certain battles that happen that if you recap it, you could make really, <laughs> huh, let's just say. So I could never subscribe to that. I can't be, I can't, like, I can't talk about this league or I can't talk about that. I know, fuck that. I'm gonna talk about whatever league I want, whenever I want, and that's just gonna be a thing. Don't call me and you know what it is. So. Um, Smack is a very powerful individual, you know what I'm saying? He's pretty much the battle rap game in general in the stranglehold, you know what I'm saying? And the the drum, the beat of the drum gets marched to what URL does. There's no league that's gonna take over URL or knock URL out of their spot and things. URL has been is so powerful. They were able to, to develop an app. An app that you know people pay a lot of bread for. You know, not just saying $8, it's not a great amount of money for each individual person, but if you look at all the fans of Battle Rap, I'm sure that app does pretty penny. But when you look at the content, it's not really that great. You know what I'm saying? Because the battles that we do see are the ones from Caffeine, like the Caffeine joints. And then they take so long to come out that most niggas be bootlegging. Like, I done seen every battle from them more than once. You know what I'm saying? By the time they drop on the app, a lot of niggas is like, I already seen it. But they do drop content in between, like, oh, you know, they have these smaller cards where they drop all, but them shits don't be good. Like, the battles do not be good. If you go on the app and you scroll down through the content, the, the reactions will be like 100 to 59, 75 to 75. That means people are not engaged or interested in that content. But then you'll have a battle like Chess versus Easy. It has a million reactions. It's a lot of engagement. People are really fucking with it. But there's a lot of things that they could do to make it better. Like, the app could be better. If you had battles, that were like more like the band shits, you know what I'm like saying? When chess battles work and it was banned and you know, we didn't know what was coming on and it just came out of nowhere. You're like more secret content, more secret battles like that, it'd probably be better. But as for now, like I got the app to support it, but if I didn't have the app, I wouldn't miss anything. I could still do everything I do and not miss a single thing, but I'm, you know, it's only $8, who cares? So, uh, action is gonna prove everything. Like if URL is really serious about, yo, we, we, is it, we can all work and all this other shit, it's gonna be cool. When you start hearing about niggas getting their legs cut from under them and people being threatened, like, yo, if you battle over there, don't come back over here and shit like that, that shit's corny because these niggas is all trying to feed their family. If an artist is trying to feed their family, they can go get a bag real quick, you know what I'm saying? There's a quick contractor on a card, it's not gonna hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and this is the petty shit that's been going on year for year for year for year. Like, this ain't no new shit. Like, it's been happening for a while. And the contracts that's in place now are only to keep people off of RBE and King of the Dot. Those two, it's not nobody else. They could battle anywhere else. You see niggas on the bullpen, you see niggas on the Battle Academy, they be all over the place. McDonald's Battle League, Taco Bell, these niggas rap battle every fucking way. You seen Hollow versus Geechee in his third round, he was talking crazy about it. It was the third, it was the second, it was one of the rounds. He was like, yo, He's like, yo, <laughs> what's your next battle? Madison Square? I was at a house party. He was like, nah, I'm battling here. Like, because the niggas battle everywhere, except you can't battle on King of the Dot, you can't battle on Rare Breed. So, you know, Rare Breed does good business. They put out good, good content. They got a lot of dope battles over there. King of the Dot does what they do. And it would be great to see a Rare Breed versus URL card or URL versus King of the Dot. I mean, you know, King of the Dot don't have a lot of big artists right now, but they had some, you know what I mean? Like, Pat Stay was over there, Jerome was over there, and et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. But I wanna know what y'all think. Is this truce legit or is it just a, a smoke screen? You know what I'm saying? Because one nigga could call a truce, but then everybody that's under him just be doing all of the, 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 the foot soldier shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm gonna have this nigga call him, tell him he can't battle there. Or I'm gonna have this nigga, oh, a card pops up. Like literally cards have popped up with artists and then phone calls start being made. 
Oh, you going over there? Nah, niggas don't like that shit, son. You gotta tell, you gotta call that nigga, tell him you're not doing it. I literally know they've called me and told me. Y'all have opportunities to get 10 or 15. Niggas don't want me to get the money over there, but they not putting me on their card. So it's like, not, I've seen niggas literally not get booked on a URL card, get an offer to do somewhere else, accept it, drop it, and still not get booked. That's nasty work. I'm going, y'all niggas stay up, man. One.